Hello there, welcome to another Talking Music with me, Chris Benson, and today, well, we're going to look at the now Yearbook 84 releases, and Paul Coates Black will be joining us in a little while to delve into them a little bit deeper as well. So, two releases so far, and I'll also in this video give you my predictions for what, what it's worth of how I think the Yearbook releases will go for the rest of the year, and of course, all speculation, and I will probably get it wrong, but I'll give you my predictions as well. Anyway, on to the now Yearbook 84 first, which came out at the end of 2021. Uh, actually, I picked up the wrong one. That's a good start, isn't it? <laughs> Anyway, you got the it's because they both look identical on the front, but apart from the the extra bit just there, right? Anyway, so this is the now yearbook A eighty four, and there are seventy eight tracks in total. So you can imagine there's a combination of songs that we already heard on now two, three, and four that were released uh, in 1984. 1984 was a massive year for for now music. It really did take off, uh, but. You'll see from the track listing, and I'll try and put it on the side, it's got some brilliant ones as well that never even featured on the Now compilations. You've got Careless Whisper, it kicks off with on side one. Brilliant tune. Uh, Laura Branigan, Self Control. It's got Sade, Your Love is King. Side, this one is really, really strong. It's got One Night in Bangkok, Murray Head, uh, which is a brilliant tune, which I only discovered recently, actually, that one. Um, it's got classics that you'll be familiar with, Matthew Wilder, Break My Stride. It's got the theme from Ghostbusters, Ray Parker Jr. Uh, it's got Billy Ocean, Caribbean Queen. It's got Rufus and Shaka Khan, Ain't Nobody. So it is a strong side, no doubt in that. I should show you the discs as well. So you've got, literally, you've got uh, this one, this two there. I went for the standard edition again. But there is there was um, a kind of a version available for fifteen ninety nine. I think it was going there or thereabouts, which included a booklet. Again, I decided just to get the the slimline version, which matched the version I got for now, uh, year book nineteen eighty three. But you know what? Uh, I believe the vinyl uh, has almost sold out again in a lot of places. I wish I'd picked up the vinyls for eighty three uh, and eighty four as well. Uh, but it's a lovely that even this nine ninety nine version. It's, it's a great great version. I mean, you think. 10 quid for, you know, 78 tracks. It's just, it really is good value for money. Anyway, I will fold that correctly. Um, on to disc two, you've got Kenny Loggins' Footloose. You've got Robert De Niro's Waiting Banana Rama. You've got uh, a brilliant locomotion, OMD. I love that tune. Absolutely love that tune. Uh, you've got Ultravox, Dancing with Tears in My Eyes. Both of those, uh, incidentally, were on... Uh, now three, which we've just been uh, recording for the radio, me and Paul, and uh, we'll watch out for it on YouTube as well. We've done a video version again. Uh, but it's got the Human League, the Lebanon. It's got um, New Order, Thieves Like Us. It's got Red Guitar, David Sylvian, Onto Disc 3. It's got uh, one of my favourite 80s tunes, Jocelyn Brown, Somebody Else's Guy. It's got Denise Williams, Let's Hear It For The Boy. Um, I always think of, I think it's Max and Paddy when I hear, when I hear that now. There was a great sketch from uh, scene from Max and Paddy, uh, which involved that song. It's got Small Town Boy, Bronski Beat. It's got uh, Hazel Dean, Whatever I Do, Wherever I Go. It's Raining Men, Weather Girls, um, Dr. Beat, Miami Sound Machine. Um, it's also got, I remember, I think it was in an advert, Ollie and Jerry, Breaking, There's No Stopping Us. You will remember that when you hear it. Uh, disc 4, again, is really strong. You've got Frankie Goes to Hollywood, Relax. You've got um, Give Me All Your Loving, ZZ Top. You've got uh, China Crisis, Wishful Thinking, More, 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 Carmel, which was on Now 2 originally. Matt Bianco, Get Out of Your Lazy Bed. There's going to be, a, I think, a Matt Bianco a uh, release coming out from Cherry Red Records. So it'd be interesting to see what their other material sounded like. Um, Jim Diamond, I should have known better. Sad Song Say So Much, Elton John. An Innocent Man, Billy Joel. You've got Pipes of Peace, Paul McCartney. And Do They Know It's Christmas? Finishing on a Christmas song. Now, Yearbook 84, though, has some great songs. This one, it's got um, Queen, Radio Gaga. It's got Thompson Twins, You Take Me Up. Shigging Stevens and Bonnie Tyler, a rocking good way to mess around and fall in love. It's got Neil, Hole in My Shoe. Neil, of course, from The Young Ones. It's got Toy Dolls, Nelly the Elephant. Um, it's a really strong side. I'll show you inside. So if, you, if, you, if you're kind of after a look inside, same as the, the other one I got, really. Um, so there you go, three discs there with the kind of basic tra track info underneath them all. Uh, and then it just folds away. Um, 
So I have them on my shelf, kind of next to each other, chronologically. You can do whatever you wish with them, but there you go. That's in terms of sizes, yearbook 84, slightly thicker, but not much really. Um, this two, you've got Freddie Mercury, Love Kills. You've got Fiction Factory, Feels Like Heaven. You've got Dancehall Days, Wang Chung, which is wonderful. Uh, it's My Life, Talk Talk. You've got... Uh, tracks I haven't heard of before, but so I'm looking forward to hearing these. You've got Mother's Talk, Tears for Fears, Simple Mind, Speed Your Love to Me. Both of those I'm not familiar with. And a bit like the 83 Extra, there's there's quite a few on there that I haven't heard, but I'm looking forward to hearing. Uh, so it's, it's brought some new music to me, this collection. It has David Sylvian, The Ink in the Well. Not heard of that one as well, and this too. Uh, Matt Bianco appears again, half a minute. Um, and this three into kind of stuff that you might recognise. Missing You, John Waite. Um, it's got um, Sushi and the Banshees. It's got Echo and the Bunny Men. It's got Paul Young. It's got Nick Haywood. Um, it's got one of my favourite Billy Joel songs on there, Leave a Tender Moment Alone. Uh, it's also got Elton John Passengers, which you don't really hear that much. Um, and it ends with a Christmas song, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, The Power of Love. So it, keeping the Christmas thing going from the, the previous releases. So what did Paul think of it? Well, here is what happened when me and Paul caught up uh, to discuss the Now Yearbook 84 recently. And on now to look at the Now Yearbook 84 and 84 Extra with Paul Coates back. Hello, Paul. Hello. It's, it's a strong lineup. I mean... The only thing I did, and, uh, and I'll say this because if, if you're watching, obviously you can see the sleeve that it comes in like that. There is, this is about nine ninety nine something like that. There is a deluxe version that's kind of like a book that get, you get a booklet with okay. it as well for six quid more. I decided not to because I thought, well, most of trivia I probably know. And, but, you know, that, that, that's up to you really. Yeah. I mean, you can, I think that's more limited edition. This is the one that you can kind of get hold of, you know, even more. Uh, but it's got on this one, you've got, Ultravox, Dancing with Tears in My Eyes, it was on now three. Locomotion, uh, there is a crossover between obviously the 84 now releases, but it's also got songs like Laura Branigan, Self Control. Um, it's got Murray Head, One Night in Bangkok. Oh, I know! Is that what it's from? It's, it's a great song, that. Um, it's got, um, it's, um, it's also got Caribbean Queen, Billy Ocean. Um, it's got um, Shack Attack on there. Uh, Rockwell, somebody's watching me. And 84 Extra's got some belters on it's it. It's got some it? great stuff. I mean, it starts with Queen's Radio Gaga. Yeah. Um, CD1's also got stuff from Paul McCartney, No More Lonely Nights. It'd be interesting to see which version. It will. Because... Will they have got the version that was on now for? I imagine it'll be just the you know the, the, the album version we're accustomed to. I don't know, but we'll see. You've, you've also got Neil's Hole in My Shoe, which, as we mentioned when we did the Now 3 broadcast, yes. featured on the very first Hits compilation. Rather than now compilation, so it's got Nelly the Elephant. It's got Nelly the Elephant, another great, uh, yeah, great, 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 great tune. Freddie Mercury, Love Kills, solo single there from Freddie. Uh, How would Joe's like to get to know you well? Feels like Heaven, The Fiction Factory, Talking Loud and Clear, OMD. Uh, Joanna, Cool and the Gang. Uh, um, and he's got Passengers, Elton John, which um, you know, nobody told me. John Lennon, Leave a Tender Moment Alone as well, Billy Joel, which is from An Innocent Man, which is a great album. Um, Hand in Glove, Sandy Shaw, because this sort of 84 was the time that yeah. it was uh, the band from Manchester that were quite popular with the, the same single. Uh, yeah, I was title, yeah, Hand, yeah, the Smiths. The Smiths. Uh, but um, yeah, the original there from I mean, Sandy. The, the, there is some, like we mentioned in other videos, there's some that I haven't heard of. I mean, I haven't heard of uh, Paul Young, I'm going to tell you Playhouse Down. Um, you will have heard of that. I Do you think I'll probably, uh, well, I'll, I'll take your word for that. Half a minute, <laughs> Matt Bianco, maybe, I'm not so sure I've heard of that one. Um, but uh, And they seem to be ending on a Christmas song. So, for example, the Now 84 Extra ends on Frankie Goes to Hollywood, The Power of Love, which was a Christmas release. And um, the Yearbook 84 ends with Band-Aid, Do They Know It's Christmas? Oh. Um, so... Um, it, just a nice little thing whether or not that will continue in future releases I don't know um, but it's it, it's again it, this has got um, in total we've got 78 tracks on this um, and then another another 60 138 wow. tracks it's um, I mean it's, it has got some great ones including Michael Jackson I don't remember Girl Can You're So Together. Together I mean 84 that must be off Thriller but well 
and not Santa all the tracks I'm, I'm recalling. No, it's got shout to the top. Which, he then had a gap before um, Badding eighty seven. It did. It's got shout to the top, which I requested once to Chris Evans on Radio Two as well. I've got on and the Friday and requested that. I remember that. <laughs> um, it's it feels like heaven as well. One of my favourite songs yeah. of all time. Uh, but again, uh, uh, you're probably going to be tempted after these, really, aren't you? It's uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, just a quick one though, the vinyls have been really elusive. You try and go under the 83 and 84 vinyls now and the uh, you know the, the red one for the 83 and, uh, and they are really, really popular and they, you, you, you're going to struggle. Um, so if you're after them, I'd say pre-order them before they, before they come out. Um, but definitely a good release. There is a good now compilation coming out next week, I think it is. Is it the electronic one? On pink vinyl. Oh, pink vinyl. Now that's what I call punk and new wave. Oh, really? Which, um, it looks very reminiscent of a few of the sort of um, new wave compilations I used to have from back in the early 80s, oh, right. sort of late 70s, so I'm tempted. Oh. <laughs> Thanks to Paul Coates Black there. So, that's the end of the 84 review. Look out for our 1982 review coming up soon. Um, I did promise predictions for 2022 and they're just my predictions and <laughs> nothing concrete, of course. But we know we have the Now Yearbook 82 coming in February. So I think in March we will have the Now Yearbook 1982 extra. I think that will follow the pattern that we've had so far, the 83 extra and 84 extra releases i think we'll have the same uh, in march with 82 and that'd be great because there's so many great tracks from 1982 um i think they are testing the water for pre now years so obviously the now music series started in 1983 and i think this one the 1982 release will be a test of the market to see if people are interested in releases before that time with that in mind I think they'll have already planned the next release. I think April and May are going to be the 1985 releases. And literally, I think that's because they'll they'll see what the sales were like for 1982, and then that gives them time to continue forward as well, past 83 and 84. So I think April and May will be the 85 releases, 85 and 85 extra. So going off the theory that 82 sells well, and let's hope it does, I think that June and July will be 1981. So I'll have your 1981, 1981 extra, which would be great the year I was born. But I do think that that will happen. <laughs> watch me get down and uh, watch me get this completely wrong. Um, then I think August and September will move forward again. I think that, that'll be the pattern. I think we'll go forward to 1986 uh, and see 86 and 86 extra. Um, again, could be wrong. Uh, and then I think for October, November, I think we'll see 1980, which will be brilliant if we get to 1980 and see that one as a release as well. So there you go. There's my prediction. Maybe we'll get one in December uh, and January as well. I'm predicting as far as November. I think that's as, that's what it'll look like. We will revisit and see if we get that anywhere near right uh, at the end of the year. Thanks for watching. Um, hope uh, you've enjoyed the video. And bye for now.